make you feel that dogs are in the top three brutally researched animals. Animal research is an important part of society. It has contributed to a great deal of today's technological and medical advancements. Nevertheless, it is still an outdated primitive method of gathering information. Animal research is a waste of taxpayer money. Animals do not have the same anatomy and physiology as humans. Not only that, but the experiments done on these animals is borderline abuse. Animal research should be outlawed if it brings harm to any animal. Taxpayers on average spend millions, if not billions of dollars toward animal research. The way this works is the people pay the government taxes and, in turn, the government pays colleges and universities money in the form of grants. There are several pointless projects the government funds that could be spent elsewhere on more important government programs. For example, according to whitecoatwaste.com, at the University of Minnesota, there is a project that researches the effects of drugs on monkeys. About $3.6 million was spent towards this project. Another example from whitecoatwaste.com is at the University of Ohio. Beagles are run on treadmills and then euthanized and dissected to find the effects of exercise. The conclusion of the project was that exercise may be healthy. The project cost thousands of dollars that could have gone toward the deficit or Medicare program that needs money. Without animal research, the taxpayer money could be going towards something more useful. Animals do have very similar DNA to humans, especially monkeys. But just because these, the DNA is similar, does not mean tests are accurate. In fact, many animal tests that pass through the testing phase fail in the human trials. Some even fail. There have been many cases throughout history, and even today, where testing failed and caused fatalities. One such example, according to cruelty-free-international.org, is Vioxx. Vioxx was a drug created to treat arthritis. It was tested on monkeys and other species before it went to the market. It caused 300,000 heart attacks and strokes and over 100,000 deaths worldwide before being pulled from the shelves. Another example was the clinical trial for hepatitis B. The drug was supposed to cure the disease and it was administrated, administered to patients. The drug caused severe liver damage and killed five out of seven patients before it had to be stopped. This drug was previously tested on animals before humans. Animals are very different than humans. Many of the diseases people get, animals don't. These diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, animals don't get. What might affect animals might not affect people or vice versa. Case in point, Cats and mice are deathly sensitive to aspirin, which has very good properties for people. This medicine would have never been discovered with animal testing because it would have failed to pass the animal research. Just how many cures for science, how many cures has science overlooked just because it did not work right on an animal? This would not be an issue if alternatives were considered to animal research. Within the last century, there have been many advances in technology and medicine that should allow us to experiment without using animals as test subjects. For example, lifelike dummies with human organs and other humanistic features have been created to allow scientists to experiment without using a live test subject. Not only does this save an animal life, it is a much more accurate portrayal of a person. These dummies show human-like senses. When cut into, these dummies show a realistic response as if it were an actual human being dissected. Many forms of testing medicine and science exist. The modern day world does not need the crude, primitive form of animal testing when different alternatives are in the world today. The Animal Welfare Act was created in 1960, or in the 1960s, to protect research animals 
from abuse. Despite these protective measures, abuse is still occurring in research facilities. There are a few examples of this stated on animaltesting.procon.org. The first being in Louisiana. There were over 300 Animal Welfare Act violations found in a research center. And nothing could be done because most inspectors do not have the authority to do anything about these violations. The second case of abuse was at the University of California. Three living baby mice were sealed alive in a plastic bag and left unwatched on a laboratory's counter. The Animal Welfare Act does not protect mice, rats, fish, and birds. There is one too many cases of abuse in animal research facilities. There are not enough people to check every animal research facility. So why not just make it illegal to research animals in America? Most countries worldwide want to ban animal research. According to this chart, only 67% of Americans say they oppose testing cosmetic on, cosmetics on animals. Now, according to most countries, that's a pretty low statistic. However, that is still the majority of Americans. Animal research was important to the nation at one point, but times have changed. It's time to reconsider alternatives that are cost effective. The nation spends millions of dollars on animal research when it could be spent on programs like Medicare. There are many there are so many different options in the modern world. Animal research is no longer the only way to discover new medications or test vaccines. The fact of the matter is that animal research is out of date and should be made illegal once and for all.